I have always found it fascinating to prepare and present special meals to our loved ones in a different way. And it truly does make a difference in our day-to-day -day living. I am going to be sharing with you all some really easy, fast and no-cook dishes today. I had a few dishes planned in my mind and I decided to make them with a slight twist. We only intended to keep things to munch on rather than have a proper sit-down meal. We are using sweet potatoes for a healthier twist and slightly sweet flavour that it renders. The next recipe is an amazing fusion recipe that can be prepared in under 2 minutes. Finally chop all the ingredients for the chatpata snack and set them away. I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shows. We'll put this recipe together right at the very end, but I promise it will be worth the wait. I think whenever hosting people, it's a good idea to plan the entire menu and the recipes in advance. Starting with the dessert allows us plenty of time to let it rest in the refrigerator. So it's a smart choice. For this simple dessert, we will take pieces of bread and soak in warm milk for some time. I microwaved the milk along with the bread for a minute to help with the soaking. Once the milk is back to room temperature, add about 2 eggs, cocoa powder and a few more ingredients mentioned on the screen. Combine everything well. Although you can puree the ingredients, we also want some chunky bread bits. So I'm only going to be using the whisk. On these occasions, I always turn to tried and true recipes and my mill taught me how to make this instant pudding a very long time ago. The one dish that made its way into my recipe diary early on. I wanted to arrange the basic table a bit in advance in order to get a fair idea of the final look. You can make the same arrangement even without the tablecloth if your tabletop has a decent enough finish. Honestly, any kind of personal touch to the table will only make things more special. In my home, my dad always used to take charge of this part and he would make sure the table was roughly laid out much before mum would finish cooking. She would of course tell him about the kind of containers she intended to use. Oh, my sweet baby. I'm going to keep drinks simple because it's winters right now. An iced tea would be a delightful addition. I'm using store-bought iced tea and adding some mint and lemon slices to jazz it up a little. Keep watching if you want to see how I set everything up on the table. We are going to move on to making a simple peri peri masala that takes no more than 2 minutes to combine. One can actually make this a day in advance and use it as and when needed. This spice blend complements Indian palate really well. 
which is why it is sure to be appreciated by many when added to any recipe. No ye yop jari ju inen na. Remember we had cut long strips of sweet potato? Well, now is the time that we bring them out. I'm going to bake them. However, air frying is an amazing option too and much faster. So, simply toss a tablespoon of corn flour and salt. Put it in the oven after placing on the baking sheet. Make sure they are not crowded if you want crispy results. Remember to check once in between. The recipe I'm going to share with you tonight is my favorite since it's really filling and can be served in individual portions which makes it really interesting. I'm going to be using my own mugs but feel free to use paper cups if you like. Make this for those nights when you know people will be chatting more than eating a formal dinner. Since children will find it easy to grab, this one was also made with youngsters in mind. As you can see, we will toss the pre-boiled pasta with some chopped vegetables and sweet corn. Add 2 tablespoons of the previously prepared peri-peri mix. Cream and ketchup are combined to make the sauce, but the peri-peri mix is where the true flavour is found. The idea is to scoop out individual portions and keep them ready to be cooked and served later. Everything about hosting should be comfortable and cosy. These zucchini bites are served warm and are perfect to be served on a day like this. Cut zucchini discs that aren't too thin. These will be cooked only for about 2 minutes on each side. Honestly, if you wish to save time then put them in the oven with the timer on. After they are slightly cooked but not entirely done, we will slather on pizza sauce and some cheese. Either bake them again till the cheese melts or put on the pan covered with a lid. You can keep them ready with the cheese on top but only put them on the pan right before serving. Adding a touch of fresh element to the entire menu. For those guests who like to stay away from cheese, this is a famous recipe that I'm sure many of you would be familiar with. Take a guess if I tell you that the main ingredients are tomatoes, basil and a baguette. Roll the leaves of basil for thin long strips. Olive oil is the key that brings the entire mixture together. I've added fresh garlic but you can omit it if you think your guests would mind the smell. Me to let you go. I know that it's time for us. 
I think it was time for me to bring everything to the table, which is why I began putting everything together. I don't know you oh, I'm yet to assemble one last dish for which we prepared for earlier. It goes without saying that these recipes can easily be made in larger portions or batches. For the sake of this video, I am going to be presenting and bringing together most of the dishes well in advance. Serving the sweet potato fries in these cones I think will be a fun way to serve them. Sprinkle on some peri peri mix or simple chaat masala for the added kick. If your guests are yet to arrive, air fry them for 2 minutes right before serving to make them hot and crispy again. Bringing together the last recipe which is Nacho Bhel. Combine nachos that are slightly crushed by hand along with pre-chopped veggies. Additionally, we will add corn and kidney beans. Don't forget to add tomatoes since they make this entire thing tangy. It's like combining salsa with nachos. Green chilies or jalapenos are a must too. Check the details in the description box. Combine all the ingredients and serve right at the end if at all feasible. Additionally, the peri peri pasta cups will be microwaved and served hot. These can be made in larger portions or smaller cup sizes and that is what makes this so easy to serve. The goal of all the recipes we shared today is to make hosting guests easier and more enjoyable. However, I believe that the process becomes truly remarkable when we pay attention to the little things like creating a unique spice blend or coming up with a creative presentation. Come back next time if you liked what you saw and don't forget to mention your favorite idea or recipe today. Until next time, here's Home Gap Shop signing off.